lapels. My stick. All right. <laughs> I only brought one mic, so that's this is right. That's mic. official. All right, welcome back, guys. You know, I'm Zeke, Gear Squatch, all that stuff. And I'm here with the guys from Down, Dirty, Dixie, Dirty Donnie, Dixie Dirty Dangy, Dixie yeah. Diamond Dallas Page. We like him, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No trademark infringement, though. <laughs> so, like, when you build a bike, you don't do that whole little, like... No, no but we no. totally should, though. We yeah. totally should. Thanks I'm for pointing that out. Flare I, guy, so. I think after every bike build, y'all just do an Instagram video, say, here it is, and you just do the whole... <laughs> That would Woo! Be, yeah. Is it, that's Ric Flair. Ric Flair. Yeah. We, like, we like him more. I like Ric Flair yeah. way better. Dirty Dixie Performance. And they are in Calhoun, Georgia. Yes. yes. Correct. Right. And we have Denton. I'm Denton. His first name's different, but he goes by Denton. Go by. And we've got Sam. Here we are. How you doing? The delay on that was hilarious, and it's because I was taking too long to give him the mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. So tell us what y'all like specialize in. What do y'all do? Um, what we specialize in is modifying um, late model Harley Davidsons. We're trying to specialize in a new soft tail platform. You know, there's a lot of guys on baggers and stuff, so we're trying to do something that not a lot of people have touched yet. There's I've only had one person, so I'm just going to hand this to you. Okay. Like, now that I have two, my arm gets tired. That's cool. So, yeah, like, the new um, soft tails had a lot of hate, and we saw the potential in the platform when they came out. You know, dealer trade show 17, we started seeing photos flying in off the internet. And I, you know, I told my partner, I'm like, we need to do, we need to get one of those. We could do something with that. So it actually took some time for us, you know, get one. Um, and we started doing a lot of R and D and we found things like, you know, we were one of the first people to do dual disc setup with all OEM parts. You know, we in-house machine the wheel. Um, and basically we just try to build performance Harleys that are street mannered and you know because i hate to see somebody pay 60 grand for a bike they can't ride yeah. you know so if you're going to spend your money we want you to get like every dollar worth mm -hmm. and you know we like subtle bikes I'm, I'm not a big flashy paint guy you know i think the panels and lace thing was kind of the chopper days and that's cool i like that stuff but i like for you to walk past our bike and if, you, if you're not really looking close you, you really couldn't tell but you know crank it up take it down the road take it for a spin you know you know what you got you know yeah, yeah. now let's see if when you talk into the mic you actually hold it up to your mouth and say <laughs> okay because what i'm gonna have to do with him is like boost it up. The audio yeah, boost it yeah, up. So. all right well we, here we are we're happy to be here vtv tour first year inaugural run and we're right here doing what we love every day and pretending we're working trying to call it a job so <laughs> no you can keep going Okay. Yeah. Uh, That's the fun of this channel. It's like there's yeah. no organization to it, um, and it's pure chaos. If you don't live near us, um, we specialize in motor builds, um, you know, high-performance high suspension. Um, we're specific, you know, to we really are like Olean's. That's like our go-to people. Um, there are a couple people with the new Sport Glide build that we did that I would personally like to thank. Um, Dave at CPC, uh, Carsville Powder Coating. Um, Hellbender Harley Davidson, they hooked us up with it. Um, also, like to thank Justin at Revolution Speed in Marietta, Georgia. Uh, without that guy, we would a lot of stuff would have been mind-boggling months of R&D that he shortened up in a very quick, precise time. You know, for machining. Before I go into the video, I've got a video of yeah. the of the glide that you built. These guys, the first night I met them was at one of these restaurants we went to when everybody got here. <laughs> the passion they have. Like, you guys know I'm not a mechanical guy at all. Like, I can change the oil, and that's about – I put grips on. I put my own grips on. That's I'm proud awesome. of you. That's, proud of you. That's yeah. a step forward in the right I, And I had to learn, too, because I used the Kuryakin glue first, and it started spinning. It didn't work. Ooh, yeah. Gorilla glue epoxy. Yeah, that's, and it's stuck. It's not coming it's off. Not coming off. Even if I sell it, somebody's got their got ISO grips forever. Yeah, pretty much. That's the extent of my mechanical knowledge. But I love listening to it because I love hearing the passion that they had. And like I was sitting there, like I was watching a new TV series, like watching you guys talk. And what's funny is you're, you're not getting. I was hoping you were going to get it here, but it's almost like a rap group. When Sam's talking, you'll hear Denton be like, "Yeah." Yeah, exactly what he said, and then vice versa. And then Sam's like, exactly what I thought. And it's like this little like chime in. Every, but they, they never skip a beat. That's what's impressive. We, yeah, we just bounce back and forth. I mean, it was all a dream. We used to read Hot Bike Magazine back in the day. So here we are. He really just did that. Yeah, shout out to Biggie. Shout out to Biggie. Okay, let's talk about the bike. <laughs> all right, so first thing you notice about the bike is um, 
It's a modern take on the traditional sport glide that AMF put back, you know, out in the 80s. Um, we used a repop fairing from JD Customs. Um, the whole front suspension is actually Dyna with the addition of a fat bob right side caliper. Um, we added the sport glide bags. If you're looking to put those on a new low rider, it is easy, easy to do. Um, this is our custom gauge setup that we did. Those are OEM bagger gauges. And we wanted to keep an eye on, you know, I like knowing what if my stator's about to die or if I'm losing oil pressure. So that was a big deal for us. Um, FXR Division T bars, their gauge mount. Thrash and Supply mini footboards, those things are killer. Um, the Saddleman seat is literally the best money I've ever spent. Um, over here, you can see all the SNS goodies. It's a 124. Um, it makes 134 horsepower, 148 pound feet of torque. Um, and uh, that's about it. All right, guys. So if people want to find more about you, where did they go? Social media, all that stuff? Instagram, Dirty Dixie Performance. Yeah. Anything else? That's it, man. All right. Y'all don't have your individual ones, anything like that? Um, we have a link to our website. For okay, like, it's cool. Like Shopify. It's What's like your website? Uh, it's dirtydixieperformance.bigcartel.com. All right. So if anybody's watching, listening to this video, well, you might not be watching. You might just have it play in the background at work. <laughs> but if you're watching or listening to this video, these guys would really like to partner up with a dealership at some point because some of the stuff they're doing is amazing. I mean, building bikes from the ground up, and y'all can keep them within warranty? Yeah, we can. We, we actually, one of the things we try to specialize in is, like, getting the most performance out of... Harley has an array of performance parts and high-end stuff that people don't know exist. The MoCo makes a ton of great parts, and they just don't push it that hard. They throw the catalog at the dealer, and... There's so much good stuff in there, and we literally live, breathe, eat motorcycles. So, like, I get the parts catalog and just read this thing daily. Yeah. And, you know, we've got some ideas where we could build some serialized bikes at the dealers and still use the parts so we could be within warranty, you and, know, and, stuff that's warrantable. And all, and all OEM parts, because you look through these parts catalogs, and you've got parts out here that are cool parts, great parts, but your average user, average customer, he's not going to like that until you show him, hey, this product is, okay, one thing on a page, but when you show it built into a bike and this is how you make these parts cool, like show me how I can take this HD part and put it on a bike and now it's a cool bike, now I'll buy it. But you got to show me how to do that. We need to be spoon fed for the average user to show us how do we use these parts. The biggest thing with that is, you know, the Mocha is going to tell you it doesn't fit. <laughs> what you say, explain what you say, because like some of these people are just like me. Right, yeah. Uh, the Moco is the, the motor company, you know, uh, that's, that's short for, yeah, the motor company. Um, you know, a, they have, you know, you think about how many, how many thousands of parts that, that, that they put out. To have a team of people to figure out every single bike that that fit is just almost infeasible. So, you know, if you've got a guy that's got a 2000 FXDX, I promise you he knows more about that motorcycle than the tech at the Harley because he obsesses over that. Right. And so, like, that's why we try to stay niche on the motorcycles we build yeah. so that we literally can be, like, the, you know, just be the top tier in modifying those platforms. And if... If a dealer is watching this or your shop or you think this is something that y'all want to partner up with them, make sure you go to their website, go to their Instagram. Y'all answer your DMs, all that Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So. Instantly. Super, super active on Instagram. Well, he's talking about being spoon-fed. He's saying mocha. I'm hungry. Let's go eat. <laughs> Let's eat. <laughs>